We're having a good day so far, mate. So far. Rick Lagina and Gary Drayton continue searching for clues on lot 32. And this is the last flag I've got down here, so hopefully this is a good one. Another two-way repeatable signal. That sounds like it's the center of the target, mate. I think it's in the plug still. Let's see if I can pinpoint it. Whoa, look at that! Is it, is it? It is. It's a coin, mate! Sweet! Look at that, that's a beauty. That is going to have a design on it for sure. Flip it over. Oh, uh, oh, Britannia. That's Britannia sitting on a shield. That's English. Let's see if we can see a king. I'm just going to give it a light rub with the soil. We should be able to see a bust. Oh, is that it? There's something there. There's definitely something there, mate. The size of this, the thickness, feel the weight of that, mate. That is oh, a yeah. chunky piece of copper. Yeah, that's very, very heavy. That's an early one, mate. Boy, that's in good shape, eh? Huh? Yeah, it's fantastic. You it think is. it's British? Yeah, I do. This so reminds me of the two British coins that we found on the hillside, mm. at the side of the swamp there. Wow, look at that. In 2017, while searching just east of the swamp on lot 13. Well, David, you are lucky. <laughs> Ooh, another one. Rick, Marty, Gary, and Dave Blankenship discovered two late 17th century British coins. I see 1600 something. Looks like 1673. Holy shamoly. The coins were impressive at the time, since they predated the discovery of the money pit by nearly a century. Brilliant. Question, we got another coin off lot 32. Nice old coin. This well predates the money pit. However, with the addition of this British coin just recovered on lot 32, might they support a new theory recently presented to the Oak Island team? So, Captain Andrew Belcher was intimately connected with Sir William Phipps. One week ago, Freemason Scott Clark met with members of the team in the war room and shared his research, suggesting that the 17th century English nobleman, Sir William Phipps, conspired with Freemason Alan Belcher to hide a vast cache of silver on Oak Island sometime after 1687. You can see can old see style the, writing around there. I can see there. the writing more than I can see some yeah. sort of figure. Yeah, but I tell you what, mate, Rick and Gary, shake and bake. Brilliant! <laughs> could Rick and Gary have found more evidence that Scott Clark's theory could be true? And if so, could it also be connected to the high levels of silver that the team has detected and will soon attempt to recover in the money pit? Mate, you know where this is going, even if it's in the bag. This is going in the top pocket. This is a top pocket find. The coin was a spectacular find, just considering its condition but it's well-preserved, it's very heavy. You have to put it into context. The wharf, other coins that have been found, uh, the bag seal. Um, lot 32 is proving to be a very interesting location. Fantastic. What a day, mate. <laughs>